In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and use an FTFTP server to back up an iOS system image as well as a configuration script image, so, uh, so or a configuration script file. So a TFTP server is often used to, you can use it actually to even uh, source an IP, an iOS image to start a device. But it's often used mostly for uh, things like just backing and making back backups of images like iOS software that you've got the version that you've got on a router or uh, like I said a configuration script file that you want to make a backup uh, of it somewhere so TFTP is used a lot for that and uh, it's used as well to uh, do upgrades of iOS so what I'm going to do in this uh, lecture is uh, I'm going to just go through and I'm going to show you how to how to do that and, uh, the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to show go do show flash command that's a kind of a file management command, and what it does is it, it tells me what the um, the name of the iOS system image is on the local device, because I'm going to need that to uh, do the backup. And what I'll do is I'll do the backup of it, and then go through and do the same thing for um, for the uh, startup configuration script. So I'm going to go to router one, CLI. And here I'm just going to do show flash. I want to know what the name of the file is. So when you do that, it just shows you the iOS image is on the flash locally. So I've got a bin image there of C2900 Universal. So Universal um, licensing K9 15114. So it's using a 1514 um, version, software version. So what I'll do is it's easy enough for me to just select it, then I'll do copy and uh, so the next thing I want to do, once I've done that is I've selected it and then I can just do the backup command to the TFTP server, so it's just copy flash TFTP and uh, there's the TFTP server and the IP address of it so what I do is I just go uh, copy TFTP to um, copy flash to TFTP. TFTP. Source file name. So it's going to ask me a bunch of questions. So I'll just paste in what the source file is, the file that I want to uh, to uh, back up to the TFTP server, and that's the name of the iOS software image. And then the address would be 192.168.3.1. Destination file. I could just use the same file or I could just say um, something I can give it another name like router1 iOS new or something do that so I just give it that kind of name something descriptive and it'll then just write it over there so there it is so it's starting to write the file over to the TFTP server and that's what it looks like So it looks like a copy says OK to copy. So it has been copied OK. So we go to the TFTP server. And I want to look for that file, make sure it's there. And there it is, router 1 iOS new. So that worked OK. And so there it is there. And now I want to do the startup configuration. So I look at the NVRAM. And NVRAM is where the uh, startup is. I'll just go back to router one here and go directory nvram it shows one file startup config that's the size of the file so I know it's there what the name is so just kind of verifying that and then to back it up I just go copy startup, startup config to tftp and in that case I'll just go back here so just copy startup dot config TFTP. It says, okay, where is the TFTP server? Okay, I'll just give it an IP address. And destination file, I can leave it as it's suggesting router1 config. That's okay. I could just do something router1 start 
uh, config or something. And so it copied over writing startup config, copied it over with that name that I just uh, asked it to uh, use. And if I go to TFTP server, now I want to look at what's over there. And there it is there, start config. So both files are there, the iOS software and the startup config. So TFTP server, it's, it's quite a nice, uh, nice uh, software to use. And like I said, used a lot for management purposes. And that concludes TFTP server.